was being written, which in all sense it counts in the back of the skate park, was not a letter about the skate park at all. And that's what we've been told by town council. And in fact, having got the letter from Freedom of Information from the town council, it turns out the skate park wasn't even mentioned in the letter at all. And not only that, it wasn't mentioned, but the skate park was obliterated off of the progress report from the last month's meeting. The park has now acknowledged that it's going to go back on, but I think everybody thought that letter <coughs> was written following the suggestion of the putting green at the Lake Grounds for a location. It may not have been in connection to that exact item, but it was as a result of the Wilts Park. The minutes contain the references under that heading, and to now put that letter under a completely different heading and then leave the skate park completely and admit it from the, the minutes is unbelievable. Mm -hmm. So this council promised the skate park, let's have some action on it, please. The town orderly, I feel really disappointed that the contract that's been awarded to a relative of this town council after the closing date of the second advert, but on different terms to that included in the original adverts, I think it's disappointing. If the town orderly is not, it's not necessary for them to use their own equipment, then I believe that the second advert should have been posted and circulated actually saying that. But the only two adverts that went into the press 15 months apart, said that the person that applied needed their own equipment. I think it should be re-advertised. The bench on the rural steps path, um, the outcome of the stage two complaint is sadly unsuccessful, as the council are not going to um, allow the bench to be reinstated on that pathway, uh, despite the petition in support of it. It will now go to the ombudsman, and it's very sad that four residents who objected, who are currently in occupancy in the, peer master, uh, the dock master's house, um, say that they don't want it because of antisocial behaviour, when the only antisocial behaviour that actually was observed on video was actually from a resident in that property. The bench was there historically. Nobody that lived in that house before objected to it. There was no evidence of antisocial behaviour previously. And I hope we have a good case when we go to the Ombudsman. And thank you, uh, Councillor Clark, for your support. Declaration of interest. In the minutes of December, it states that pecuniary interest must be declared, correct? And it says that this is confirmed by the Deputy Monitoring Officer, Sarah Saunders, who advised that living in a road that is being discussed is not a pecuniary interest. That's not strictly true, and it hasn't been confirmed by Sarah Saunders. She's been asked for some clarification, but she hasn't confirmed that she actually said that. But what she didn't know at the time was that the councillor who didn't declare an interest in Lake Road actually has declared that address as a pecuniary interest in his, his register of interest. So we've now gone back to her again, but I, I'm a little bit concerned that things are being quoted in the minutes, which may not be accurate, which may not be evident. Uh, but I hope that perhaps that written evidence may be provided to me. What people have got to realise is, is that government legislation is clear, you can research that, it's available on life. There are seven principles of public life, they're called the Nolan Principles, and they apply to all those in public office. Your code of conduct <coughs> is very clear, and any district councillors are here, their constitution is very clear. The as to when to declare. you there, Sorry. please, Mrs Hennessy, you've now had your four minutes. Oh, you're going to pause me completely? Okay, that's, that's, that's fine by me. May I just add very quickly that I've written to you on videoing and irrespective yes. of what Mr. Owens may say later, the Thank rules you, are clear. Thank, Thank you very much.